Congress of the Muslim and we have reached to the page number 45 where we talk about actually the dua that we we say when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us for the best of the decision and actually the word choice it is called in Arabic ikhtiyar so ikhtiyar yakhtar so the name of the prayer is istikhara istikhara and I told you before any verb or sorry any noun that starts with ist alif sin ta means I request I ask like we, we have we, we said istighfar so istighfar istikhara and Allah said istikbaran fil ardi wa makra say means they are seeking the arrogance they are asking for arrogance istighfar asking for forgiveness istikhara asking Allah to guide you for the best of the decision and before we move to the dua actually from a aqidah point of view when somebody is praying istikhara that's a manifestation of the total submission for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala despite of all what Allah had given me uh, like a, the Muslim should that's his position despite of uh, whatever Allah had given me the logic and reasoning and uh, friends internet consultation advisors despite of all of those people I might use them by the way but despite of all of those I will seek Allah for the guidance to give me the best of the decision like I would say to Allah I have no power I have no might except what is in your hands except what is with you O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so I ask you since you are my creator and you know everything I ask you to guide me to the right decision O oh Allah and it's also a manifestation for the contract that we are always signing and renewing with Allah in Surah Al-Fatiha Iyaka na'bud wa iyaka That's the other portion, the, the last portion Nasta'een, the word Nasta'een means what? Seek refuge, seek help So oh Allah, I am in a situation, in a situation right now I am seeking help I cannot know what, what's the best of the decision and you know what? Some people actually, they misused Salat al-Istikhara. So let's, something like, like, something is obvious that this is halal and this is haram. Should I make Salat al-Istikhara here? No. So why, why make Salat al-Istikhara? It's clear, that's halal and that's haram. So why you make Salat al-Istikhara? Or, something is preferable and something is like like disliked so by islam by default allah said that's the preferable so why you go and do istikhara so the istikhara the ulama said it is in what is mubah what is permissible so you have two choices and both of them there is no confusion between them like somebody, there is two men proposed for his daughter. One, obviously, he does not pray. He has no relationship with religion at all. Like maybe he is one step to be an atheist. And the other person is an imam. So why do you make istikhara here? It's clear. It's clear for you, but we say istikhara because some people were like, Imam, should I buy this business? Should I pray istikhara? Okay, tell me about this business. Oh, it, it sells liquors. That, that, that does need, that, do you think that needs istikhara? So why you ask Allah choice for what? It's, it's obvious, it's clear, it's haram. So Salat al-Istikhara, it comes with the things that it, it's permissible, it is halal, 
but actually you are confused which one you choose. And the Sahaba said, Rasulullah had told them to do istikhara actually in most of the things. You know what? They said Rasulullah told us to pray istikhara even to in, in Sha'si uh, Na'li, in Shiraki Na'li. When you try to buy a, a, a shoe, when, when you try to get slipper, you can pray istikhara for this too. Means what? Means in every matter, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. And that's actually, since it is in something mubah, something halal, something permissible, then you can do salat istikhara in everything. Most of people nowadays, they pray istikhara in two, three issues maximum. Marriage, business, and maybe, you know, like a, a big issue with um, a financial situation or something like this. We need to actually to learn to pray Salat Istikhara too much. And, and one of the things that I wanted to correct very quickly, that people think it is called the Salat Istikhara means that you make the dua inside the prayer itself. That's a common mistake. The dua comes after the prayer. 